In this video, we'll find the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and the mass number for calcium. Calcium has a number of isotopes. These are the three major isotopes, and we'll talk more about isotopes in just a bit. But let's write the information that's going to be the same for all isotopes of calcium. For starters, the atomic number for calcium is 20, and that's going to be the same for all isotopes of calcium. The atomic number that equals the number of protons. So again, 20 for all of these isotopes. And this is what defines calcium. All calcium atoms will have 20 protons and therefore atomic number of 20. On the periodic table, calcium is written Ca. And this is considered a neutral element. It's a neutral element because it doesn't have a charge after it. So if it was Ca2+, that would be the calcium ion. That's not a neutral element. So on the periodic table, the elements, they're considered to be neutral because they have the same number of protons and electrons. So we can say we have 20 electrons for each of these isotopes. The thing that's left now and the thing that will be different are neutrons. Isotopes have the same number of protons, but different numbers of neutrons. So each of these will have a different number of neutrons. Protons plus neutrons equals mass number. So the mass number will be different too. Often you'll be given neutrons or mass number, and then you can figure the other one out. But if not, go to the periodic table and the average atomic mass. Round that to a whole number. So we're going to round that to 40. Now we can see that 40, if that's the mass number, equals protons plus neutrons. 20 plus 20, that gives us 40. So this isotope has 20 neutrons. Most of the calcium, if you had a block of calcium, Almost all of the atoms, most of them, would be this isotope of calcium. In fact, about 96% of them would be this isotope. That makes sense because this is the average atomic mass. It averages the mass for the isotopes. Most of them are 40, so this number is pretty close to 40. But there are other isotopes of calcium, and you can't really tell just by looking at the periodic table. We know most isotopes will have a mass number of 40 because this number is closer to 40. But we can't tell what the other isotopes will be just by looking. We'd have to figure that out experimentally. So the other two isotopes for calcium, the two major ones, one is calcium 42. And in fact, let me name it based on the mass number. So this is calcium 42 and this is calcium 40. So to find the neutrons, Protons plus neutrons give the mass. 20 plus 22, that would give us this mass number. For this isotope, about 0.6% of calcium atoms will have this isotope here. The other major one is calcium 44. About 6% of isotopes will be calcium 44. Let's write 44 there for the name. So 20 plus something gives us 44. 20 plus 24, that gives us 44. So these are our isotopes of calcium. They have the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons. Protons plus neutrons gives us mass number, so this is going to be different as well. There's a special notation called nuclear notation where we can write the notation for each isotope. For example, here's calcium. We put 40 for the mass number, and then the number of protons, 20, we put down here. We could do calcium 42, and again, it's 20 protons. Atomic number is 20 because that's the identity of calcium. And then we could do one more calcium 44 and 20 again. So this is nuclear notation, and it gives you the specific notation for one type of isotope. The periodic table, that gives you the notation that's an average. It gives you the average atomic mass for all of the isotopes based on their abundance, how much we have of each type. Because it's closer to 40, that means most of them are going to be 40. This is Dr. B with how to find the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for calcium. Thanks for watching.